Hey everybody, John Avalanche fan here with another Pokemon XD Yelp Darkness walkthrough here on Super Walkthrough Saturday. So, uh, just a recap, in the last episode we went to Mount Battle, we talked to Vonder, who had told us he, he saw a shady characters going to a mysterious lab, who might be responsible with Professor Crane abduction. Um, then we also went back to a gate village, sooner than I expected, then we stocked up on Pokeballs and items and all that. So, on that, we're all set to go to our mysterious lab. It said it was once used by Kipper, this facility was thought to be abandoned. They thought wrong. So we'll go back. And look at that! We've seen that vehicle before, haven't we? If I'm not mistaken, that vehicle was used to abduct Professor Crane. And it looks like a shitty lab, um, or pardon me, crappy lab. Um, so this lab was also in the uh, Pokemon XD, or Pokemon Coliseum walkthrough. Um, but then as soon as you enter, you see these six weird looking people walk out. who look like the rainbow, just out of order. We are the se sex tuplets. I just realized, I thought it said six tuplets? It's a sex tuplets. Ew. That's disgusting. But they're the Hexagon Brothers, apparently. Sound off. One, two, three, four, five. These guys are the most, oh my, these guys are the most stupidest people in the game to this date. Because they always forget to count someone. Alright, all right, so they're starting from the other side. Count off. Hey, you're supposed to count yourself too. Nope. One, two, three, four, five. And after they realize someone's missing, they, they finally notice us. This is no kitty playground. Hmm. I think they should run home. They don't know what they're doing. They can't even count right. So anyway, doesn't matter which one you take on, but make sure you take on all six. There's a good reason why. Um, so we'll start with, we'll start with the red one here. <laughs> he doesn't know the right look on my face. Sure, let's battle. And we face a man named Kipper Peon Red, Red Six, Re Six. So we realize now we're facing off against Kipper. So re six ends up Slugman Houndour. And wait, what's this? Shadow Pokemon, we have a Houndour. Level 17. That's why I wanted to give up high level. So, for the meantime, all you want to do is sand attack the Shadow Pokemon and get their accuracy down because their attacks are powerful. At least at this stage, since they're a higher level than you. And see how much it pays off. Probably shouldn't have gotten another Shadow Pokemon on my team, but oh well. Hopefully I... Oh, awesome. Slug on this too. The good thing about this, there's only one poke Or one... Or... Ugh, two Pokemon this guy has. So once you take out Slugma, you can focus all your attention on Houndour. Oh, shoot. Good job, Teddy Ears. So, oh, that's not good. Half his health's gone. But we took Slugma out, though. Alright. So, in the meantime, this is all we can do. Sand attack, and... I'm gonna try Fury Swipe, see if I can get away with that. 
Could have tried bite too. Oh, come on. Shoot. This isn't good. Alright. I'll have to try bite then. Maybe I can flinch him a couple times. Oh, that did a decent amount of damage. Considering he, Houndar is dark. Oh, come on. Only 13, that's not bad. So Jolteon can last a couple times. That's good. Okay, there we go. Now he's starting to miss. I'm just getting the flinch a ton couple, once or twice, so it might be good. Alright, missed the end, so I'll keep going. Until Houndar launches another successful attack, then I'll use Sand Attack. But for the meantime, all I can do is just keep using Bite here. So I use Tackle, I might kill him. There we go, flinched. Good. Ah, I guess I could use Tail Whip too, I'd probably that. Um. Did he flinch? Oh. Oh, come on. Ugh. Shoot. Uh. I'm gonna try one more time. Hopefully, Jolteon can dodge the next attack or two. Okay. Might be good as long as he doesn't. Okay. All right. What I'll do, just to be on the just on the safe side, just make sure it's not a critical. I'll use a potion. Raise Jolteon's health because I don't want to. Don't want to lose this battle. All right. So item. Hopefully this will work. Catch my fourth, I believe. Awesome! Houndar was caught. Nice. And we beat Re6. Awesome. What, that you're not supposed to be tough? If I wasn't tough, I wouldn't be a good trainer. And Houndar joined our party. Alright, so one Shadow Pokemon down. I guess it helped to while... I, I guess it helped to while away some time. Oh, Alright. So if your Pokemon are badly injured like mine are, you can always go in this room. And right here, you have a healing system and a PC system. So since I have Houndour, I will um, just go to the storage system here. And say bye bye to Teddy or so He's not coming. Oh, he's got an X attack. I'll get that later. But say bye bye to Teddy or so He's not coming back. And Lady Bun, Puchana. All right. So, just so I make sure I keep Hound Hour, I'll save it. Um, should have enough time to catch one more Pokemon here. All right. And once you go outside, these idiots are now in a circle. Sound off. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. They don't even know who started counting. Then after they made the mistake of counting, they notice us again. Alright. So we got the Resixes Pokemon, so let's go for... Uh, let's go for the green guy here. And he's gonna take he's gonna use his six full power on us. So we're up against Keeper Peon Grease Six. Who uses Arshin Cacnea? Now one thing if you haven't noticed this by now, depending on what color the uh, six full brothers are, that's what type of Pokemon they use. Grease Six, red. Could kind of stand for fire. Green six is green, green for grass. Sort of. Alright, now as you can see, I'm using Hound Hour here. 
Alright, so let's try. Bite and. No, let's. Oh, so close. Awesome, took up Cacnea. Good start. Alright, then this guy sends up Shroomish. Alright, so we use Bite and Shadow Blitz again. I think if I read that correctly, this guy has six Pokemon altogether, I believe. But they're all weak, so. And he sends out Lotad. And we'll use Shadow Blitz. Oh, Shroomish didn't die. Huh. I don't know why, why they're taken from Houndar. He should know Houndar is not affected by grass attacks. And then he sends out Pineco. Got Shadow Blitz again. There we go. Finally, someone got taken out in one hit. Jolicon still can't level up. Then he sends out C Dot. Oh, and look at this. Another Shadow Pokemon. C Dot. So, we'll use Sand Attack and Shadow Blitz. Just like Houndour, Seedot's level 17 as well. Oh, right. Okay. Seedot's got a new attack, Shadow Hold. Which means we can't switch our Pokemon, but seeing as I only have two, that's kind of pointless. Sand attack again and shadow blitz again. Alright, there goes Pineco. Still gonna level up. See how it's got Shadow Wave, which is an attack that hits both Pokemon. As long as it misses Jolt, I'm fine. Houndour can withstand it since he's a Shadow Pokemon, so. Uh, let's see here. We'll use. Uh, I'm gonna take a chance here. Use Bite and Shadow Blitz. I forget how much bite you did. Alright, so for the me. Oh, yeah, Shadow Wave, right. Forgot it hits both. Alright, so. We're trying to weaken him a bit. We use Tail Whip and Shadow Blitz. Should be able to get one more attack on Shadow Blitz and I can catch it. Oh shoot. Alright, good job, Jolteon. Alright, so we use Sand Attack just be safe. We use one more Shadow Blitz and then I'm sure then we can try and catch it. Alright, that should be good enough. Houndour's got pretty bad uh, evasion. <laughs> I don't think he's dodged one attack yet. 
Alright, so we'll use Santa Tag just to be safe, but we'll try catching it here as well. Sorry guys, that's just the phone. And we caught C dot. I feel crushing defeat sixfold. And C dot joined our party. All right, so we got two shuffle coin and C dot. Ah, uh, C dot. C dot is another Pokemon that's actually going to join my party here. So I think I got a pretty good team. Jolteon, Seedot, and Houndour. Fire, Grass, and Thunder. Alright, other than that, I think we're going to call it an episode here. So we got two more Shadow Pokemon, and they're part of our team now. So, on the next episode, we're just going to continue taking out the Six Volt Brothers. Ho hopefully maybe we can get the rest done. Um, or at the very most three. So that guys, see you the next episode.